Hello folks, welcome back for another Dollop of V video gadgets channel and as you can see iOS 11 developer beta 2 has been released which means that we need to check on that screen recorder to see if any significant improvements have been made. So what I'm going to show you next is a very simple 20 second screen recording of iOS 11 beta 2, not do any commentary on it and then we're going to rewind it and go through some of the interesting points. Just to note, this is a screen recording with the microphone turned off, let's take a look at it. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel, yet another one behind the camera. Rest assured I will be back in front of it as soon as possible. But in this video, we're looking at a new downloading source called App Valley. The website is appvalley.vip. So if you put that into your Safari browser and then tap on the install App Valley button, you will get the application, which looks... Okay, that was a recording. Let's rewind it and take a closer look. First, let's look at the setup as the recording begins. It's set to landscape and volume is on mute, which is very interesting when I start the recording. Well, that proves one thing, and no matter what the external volume is set to, even if it's muted, it will record the internal sounds at a set level. And the other thing you may have noticed is that it is recording in the proper landscape aspect ratio except for a couple of seconds when it switches orientation to portrait and squashes everything like this. And then it quickly writes itself again. Also note that I am recording directly from the YouTube application, so you can screen record YouTube videos as of now. And if I minimise the video in the app, it does go back to portrait mode, the orientation is wrong, but the aspect ratio is fine. But if you're going to start a screen recording in landscape and switch it to portrait, that's what you would expect. So, does that mean that the orientation bug has been fixed? I'm afraid not. This is another screen recording of a game I played before, Pew Pew, and as soon as I go back to the game, look at what happens to the aspect ratio. It all gets switched on its side and squashed. This is exactly what happened in the first iOS 11 beta, so the problem is still there. One thing I did notice, however, while testing was that if I did a system change, such as up the volume, look at the orientation. It switches back to as it was, and then as soon as the volume disappears, it goes back to the wrong orientation. So presumably, this is some sort of weird orientation value that the screen recording it isn't picking up on. I'd love any developers to watch this video and perhaps give us a solid answer. Now for some other things of note, people were complaining in the first beta that when they put their screen recording into a video editor it cut out the voice audio and that still seems to be the case, but on the plus side the search bar has been fixed on YouTube, kind of. My guess is this is an app fix, not a fix from the screen recorder. In fact, as far as I'm aware, I don't think any changes have been made from the iOS 11 beta 1 to the iOS beta 2. And look, that search bar's disappeared again. My guess is bug fixes for the screen recorder are very low priority at the moment, but by the time of the official release of iOS 11 in September or October, most of this stuff should be resolved. In general, iOS 11 beta 2 does seem faster, smoother and more reliable than iOS iOS 11 beta 1, but my recommendation is still not to upgrade to this, wait for the official release. Thank you very much for watching, if you do have any questions or any comments or you know anything yourself of iOS 11 beta 2, let me know in the comments below, otherwise subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this, enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.